Radio Split Ranch. Hello, and welcome to an extra edition of the Radio Split Ranch. I'm Warren Garling when I'm not on the radio. Ever since I was a young boy, listening to my favorite radio stations on my transistor radio, I realized that one of the main reasons I wanted to be on the radio myself was to make people smile. I, I knew I could play the music that would make people feel good, but also felt that I had it in me to fill in the time between tunes with something that might bring a smile to the listener's face. Over the years, I've worked with many great professionals who also approached their careers with the same goal, which is why this special edition of the Radio Split Ranch is actually so gut-wrenching. The last thing I feel like doing today is smiling, because one of my friends, who never ceased to make me laugh and feel good even on the darkest days, has left us unexpectedly and way too soon. I had the pleasure of not only working with the professionally named Mike Patrick, but also sitting with him and other friends talking shop and swapping stories many, many times over the last 10 years or so. And I'm especially happy that I was able to sit and capture Mike's career highlights in a conversation I posted on this podcast site in April of 2022. Go back and, and listen to that. But today, in keeping with our goal of making you smile... I'm especially pleased to share with you a few minutes of radio recorded live on July 6, 2019, when Mike was substituting on a Saturday morning for the great Joe Gallagher on 810 WGY. Somehow, I wound up in the studio with Brother Lou Roberts and Mike, and we just talked about our radio lives and laughed and laughed. I hope this helps you do the same and brings back to life a voice that will forever live in our hearts. Okay, 839, Mike Patrick in for Joe Gallagher, News Radio 810-1031-WGY. WGY began broadcasting in February of 1922. With any luck after this next segment, we will continue to celebrate <laughs> our, our 100th anniversary coming All up right, in Zach. 22. All <laughs> right, now, 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 Brother Lou Roberts, who joined us last hour, is there, but now we have Chris Warren Thank from you. from ninety eight three WTRY occasionally and, yeah. and, and, Me too. and well yeah, from, true. oh that's right I forget yeah. you do that every once in a while but I mean this is a <laughs> this is a um, <laughs> this is a, a a meeting of the minds and Let's it's just mindless we, mindless <laughs> yeah. now, now now we were. And uh, Chris, I know we were talking before Lou, and I learned something from Lou that I never knew before. Lou has gone by different names before, and I know you and I have talked mm -hmm. about that, different on-air names that you've, you've oh, I thought something. Just somebody taking a break out okay. the window. And yeah. Anyway, but I mean, but we've, <laughs> you know, we've, we've, we've all gone by, now, was there any particular reason why you went by a different name in any no one pointing your career. well the the first time i was on the radio they gave me a name okay. because they already had one of those jingles you know what oh, jingles are right. where they sing a name you so know? which johnny williams were you yeah, exactly <laughs> exactly yeah no i was jesse james when i first went on the radio because i worked at the home of the all americans the old wsny in schenectady and so uh, they, they gave us names i worked with george washington thomas jefferson chester arthur John Tyler, and many of these folks are still out there in some of them in We've radio. We've all worked as, with John Tyler, <laughs> yes, for well, the record. That's true. As, that's true. as a matter of fact, you know, Joe Gallagher's worked with those people, but he actually worked, worked with, with those, George Washington. Yeah, right, exactly. <laughs> exactly. I'm enjoying being in here for Jim Gaffigan. I really am. <laughs> yeah. This is great. This is fun. No, but but that but that was always one of the and when you you talk about with you know the 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 great all Americans and and I and and I just this question just hit me here because you've got. John Tyler, you've got George Washington, but 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 then Jesse James. Okay, I don't know how Jesse that fit James. In. If my his, that was an outlaw, an how outlaw. did that fall into a great American? I don't know. I don't know. But they had a jingle, and they said that's who you are, and okay. and I said oh, okay, if you say so. Hmm. I mean, I already had Chris Warren picked out as my air name. I I got it from a a girlfriend in high school who thought it Christopher Warren just kind of sounded like Christopher Robin. I thought you got that from the phone book. Yeah, yeah. No, no. <laughs> okay, no. There was a guy years ago that I can remember, and it's no longer around, so I can say a WPTR, mm -hmm. but I was always fascinated by his air name. His name was Chris Topher. Oh, yeah. yeah. Topher, too, for Chris, Chris, Chris Randall. Chris and Randall. It Chris took, Topher Randall. It took Randall. me yeah. in my, my little pre-teenage years, it took me a while to figure out Wait, oh, I see now Zach's looking at it now. Now what he the can, heck are you talking about? I can figure out Chris <laughs> Tolfer. Yeah. And you he, know? Would, he would have this one piece of tape sped up. He'd drop in and go, whoopee, pickle. 
and that's what it sounded no, like. Oh, Whoopi Pickle. Yeah. I remember that. Yep. He was one of my favorite jocks to listen to. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah but, but you know, when you t- you 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 think you think about you know s- certain radio guys and just different names that they've had over the years, and 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 why either they're given the name, mm-hmm. like I think you know you 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 have the 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 Johnny Williams line from a lot of uh, you know stations uh, gave all, me a name i can't say it on the air though mm. what's that they gave me a name and i can't say it on the air <laughs> i've been given it by a lot of people zach won't let us <laughs> okay <laughs> no he, i gave him the sign over here on the mic he's, <laughs> he's got his hand on the butt but i mean it's it's, it's kind of fascinating that sometimes and every once in a while where you run into people it's like and the i remember when you were this and you exactly. did this and yeah. everything but it's just part yeah. of the, the, the it was evolution. what the business was for for many years and and what you were told you needed to do was give yourself two first names basically okay because it was yeah. easier they were easier to remember so it was bob roberts you know and bill williams and you know things like that mike patrick yeah mike patrick there you go chris warren so it's uh yeah one of those it was just what radio was. And you got to remember also that back in the day, and I'm making right. myself sound, you know, like I've been on the radio for 50 years, which I have. Hold it. But uh, back in the day. Records. <laughs> records. Okay. Yeah, right. You remember records? But, but, but back in the day, you got to remember that you used to have to pay to keep your name out of the phone book. Okay. Yes. You had to have, Un- a, to have an unlisted. unlisted number. Okay. Yep. So if you went, you know, home, you're home on the weekends, you're not working weekends, but your phone's ringing because little Shirley wants to hear, you know, sugar, sugar by the Archies. And she's calling you up on your home number because your name's in the book. The one, uh, the one exception that I, and I know, I know. This, and I know who you're talking about is probably the greatest top 40 disc jockey in the Capital District, the late great boom, boom, boom Brannigan. When you look in the phone book, it's right there. Brannigan, comma, boom, boom. Well, you know why? Why? Because he did record hops and gigs. Yep. So that was the way. Okay. Yep. Yeah, you know, because when you're in radio, you're not making a lot of money. You need to do something not, on the side. Oh, oh. <laughs> what, yeah, what are we a, doing there? It's in a book I wrote. Lifestyles of the Poor and Famous here. That's it. <laughs> so that's good. I like that one. Uh, uh, poor and Famous. Uh, Chris, this is this is a big day for, for Lou because basically this yeah, is... Because he's sitting next to me. Well, too. that would be it. But <laughs> is, well, the, we used to. Another life at, uh, uh, yes, at CRY. Uh, exactly, yeah, yeah. But I mean, his, this is his first real shot at working at uh, and on, on WGY. Mm-hmm. It's my first yeah. live thing on WGY. Wow! You know, and you and, had to wait till Jim Gaffigan was out of thing. Jim Gaffigan, yes, yeah. yes. <laughs> but I mean, I could, you know, I could see you and I know, have known Lou for for quite a while. I mean, I could, I could certainly see him coming in here on on some Saturday or Sunday morning. Oh, absolutely, yeah. No. I, and Lou's the no. reason I got back into <laughs> radio after getting fired for the first time. Oh, um, tell me that. Well, I, I got uh, let go from a station I was with for like 12 years, and out of the blue, and, and I wound up working in a completely different industry. And I had no problem with that. I, I was finally making some money, you know, and, and could pay the mortgage. And then... Oh, um, she looked at the check going... <laughs> Is this wrong? <laughs> yes, this, this must be right. wrong. This can't be right. <laughs> I didn't know you could put that many zeros on a check. <laughs> so I, I uh, after a few months of, uh, of of real work, I called Lou up one day. He was on, you know, the old 980 TRY. And I said, do you think there's an, anybody, somebody at your station that might let me work a few hours on the weekend? And I was really looking for, I, the only way to appease my wife is just to work from 6 to 10 in the morning. Hmm. So then we had the rest of sure, the weekend. Sure. Okay, we could take off on vacation. At 10.01 on a Saturday, and we're all yep. set. Yep. So he said, well, he, I'll, I'll put a good word in for you. And within a few weeks, I was working Saturday mornings, 6 to 10, for about four years, mm-hmm. right, right alongside this guy. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Hold that, th- hold that thought. We're going to take a break, and we'll chat for a little more. Chris Warren, Lou Robertson here, where it's Nostalgia Radio, double A-R-P radio, <laughs> on 810, 1031-WGY. Shinny. <laughs> WGY AccuWeather forecast. We'll see clouds and breaks of sun today at WGY.com. Oh, it's our turn. Here we go. It's 849. Already? Mike Patrick wow. with uh, with Chris Warren and right, man, let me Luke check. Roberts. Yep, still have the license. We're we safe. We still we're, have we're the good, license. Yeah. That's safe. Hanging yeah. in for uh, Joe Gallagher. Uh, Joe's up this week and, and next week. All right. Uh, th- this just hit me, uh, Lou. I know you want to. I-, I know you've been wanting to because this is Lou's first real time on the air. Okay. Just, Wait. Whoa. 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 You mean on WGY? On this radio station. Yeah, okay. Okay. Right. Yeah. On this radio station. <laughs> How many years so, in, in radio? So, yes. Just yeah. forty six. Okay. Good for you. For, for the for the sake of of nostalgia, just do, I had hair. <laughs> do you the, were going there, weren't you? <laughs> no. No, I wasn't. Okay. Do the call letters for GY or which one? For here. All right. 81 WGY. 
81 W? Yeah, that? That's well, it, how back. far back wow. it goes, yeah. I thought yeah. we were going to get something. He was radio 810 and 1031 WGY. Okay, yeah. as long as you're better? saying those, yeah. three, uh, those three call letters, that's right. fine. Right. You know, so now that we have it recorded, yes. and, and now it'll be there, okay? <laughs> to which we'll play that back and go, gee, why was Lou on the air? Ah. Hmm. Well, or, or gee, why was Lou on the air? <laughs> well, yes. that we've always we've always a, 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 asked that, you know. Mm, one absolutely. of the things, one of the things, Chris, that we we are talking about is the fact that you know we joke about the fact, but but GY coming up to one hundred years, yeah. of broadcasting yeah. in twenty twenty two for the. Wait a minute, for, was Gallagher there then? Um, beginning. <laughs> He signed the station on, didn't he? He relieved Reed Shepard, actually. <laughs> okay. But but for and and I've mentioned this before, but from the from the two of you, with WGY coming up on one hundred years, mm. not too far away, mm. what is what is the history, what does this radio station mean to you as somebody from growing up around here and the history and how this station continues to grow. But what I find remarkable is that it is still the first radio station you think of when something happens in the world and you want to more you want more details about it. You tune in WGY. Now I wasn't a huge listener when in my top forty radio days right. listen, growing we, up listening to PTR and you know, TRY. Right, exactly. Right. They competed against each other, W A B Y, Schenectady had W S N Y. So I was listening to those stations because I wanted to be, you know, those distant Jockeys. Right. But the second something happened and you wanted details on what's going on, you know, not just me, my whole family, we turned on 810 WGY. Let's and talk you know what? about school people closing. Still do yeah. It. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> but people still do it. And, yeah. and, and then you've got to know that that's a legacy that will, you know, hopefully be there forever. We noticed that because obviously with the changes that, that WGY has, has gone through, over the 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 decades, you know, we are news oriented. We're topic. We're we're current event oriented. When there are big cycles of news going on, and certainly we have seen this, and as we're mm. getting into in the next year and a half with the next presidential election, and we can see that people more and more, they come to us because they do want to be informed about what's going on. So they're, they're, they want to know when it comes to making choices. But yeah, I mean, that's, 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 that's what it's always been and, and always will be for me. Now, they were a music station for a long time, mm -hmm. but you still tuned in because you knew that news department was, you know, the number number one news department. No Never. offense to anybody else and any other station. But. When growing up, my mom and dad would put the station on, especially on the weekend, we're going out for a ride. And what will we hear? Here's a flashback. If you go back then from NBC monitor, monitor, monitor. That's sure. the, yeah, that little sounder they had. It's yep. an old, I love that show. Yeah. It's an old, and, it's an and they program. were an NBC affiliate because they, you know, uh, and eventually GE bought NBC and oh, it's it's just a crazy, crazy history. But to explain also for 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 people who are somewhat younger than the three of us here, and not necessarily collectively, but you talk about school closings and oh, and how the pro the process, and this is not just for for here, but it's every radio and television station now that it used to be a process where the schools would call the various media mm -hmm. and they would yep. have their special code. Right. And, so and, Johnny and, couldn't call and cancel his school. Or he would try know. or I wish John, I or Johnny would try to come up with a fake code. <laughs> I wish I, close. I wish I knew those codes when I was a kid because I would have called up South <laughs> Colony code blue or whatever yeah, it is. But you know who was worse though in making those calls? It wasn't Johnny who was calling all the time. It was Johnny's mother. Johnny's mother why that, would you tell my son that, that we have school codes? <laughs> Listen to the radio Ma'am, I'm sorry. That's what you have to do. <laughs> and well, if you do morning drive anywhere yeah. up here in the Northeast, that was your whole show that morning. It was, it was school yeah. closing. Uh, yeah, oh, and, my and God. There were some mornings where it made that's more you, sense to read who was open, you know, because yeah. Yeah. it was just so bad. You know? And that's all it is. But so so now, thanks to technology and thanks to, you know, having the Internet and the website, you can go to all these. Mm -hmm. So it, it, it frees up a lot of our time. So the technology has certainly changed to the better. Although, personally, sometimes I do miss those calls. You know? You know, I get these, I get, Why? So you can abuse them? I get these that nightmares. I'll wake up in a cold sweat in the middle of the night. <laughs> my school <laughs> You know, come on, and you're laughing, and you know you got those calls, too. 
Yeah, those mm-hmm. are fun. Sometimes you'd finish reading the school closings, you do the weather, and start reading the school closings <laughs> again. again. Yeah. Well, yes. maybe, maybe maybe take a cough drop before you start yeah, getting exactly. The, the, oh, the those were the list. mornings. Yeah. All right, we have a lot, uh, gentlemen. Thank you. I I know this is kind this of is rambling fun. radio, but it's always good. And Chris, you're well, on. Would you listen to a podcast that was about this stuff about radio? What I know we're here. We've been kicking this, this around for a while. Been, uh, Lou and I have been kicking this idea around for months now, and and I think we may wind up doing a, a podcast, and we'll interview you know some of your favorite personalities from when you grew up, uh, only the live ones that are still alive. And uh, I was going to say we're that, thinking but of, uh, we're thinking wait, about if we could do that if they're uh, doing no, that. Go now. on. So, yeah. you, all right, oh so you're gonna, you'll, you'll interview your favorite person. So are you going to interview Joe Gallagher, too? That would be my question. I said favorite. Who, who's who's this Joe Gallagher you speak of? <laughs> who, who's this Joe or Gallagher you speak of? Jim Gaffigan, Joe Gaffigan. Oh, that, oh, okay. That guy. Oh, the guy that's Jim Gallagher here. You know, I said yeah. Jim Gallagher, somebody who is, his name is Jim Gallagher in the area. He's going to get a call. Hey, they just mentioned you on WGY. <laughs> it's like it's 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 always fun. So thank you, gentlemen. It's always thanks uh, for having us. Thank you. You're 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 I'm always just ruining I'm, Joe show completely. That's hey, you know, hey, cool. hey, I'm here next week. You know, watch it. Watch it pop in on Sunday yeah. and have fun with Reed. I'll you be know. here all week. Try the meal. Tip your waitress. All right, gentlemen. Thank you. Eight fifty six. Oh no no. Lou, what? take us out, Lou. On uh, no. News Radio eight ten and one zero three one WGY Radio Split Ranch.